What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I welcome you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, followed by the bell notification so you never miss an upload. And if you're watching this video, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos and I truly appreciate it. So let's be honest about Lamar Jackson. He is an incredible talent. He is the face of the Ravens. He is, you know, a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Uh, wherever you scale him, that's always personal preference. But let me know where you rank him down in the comments below. I'd love to hear your personal opinion. But as far as the type of quarterback in which he is, at least at this point, he's not going to take the Ravens to the next level. We've seen this quarterback several times. Michael Vick, Cam Newton, and now Lamar Jackson. Guys that aren't accurate at throwing the football guys that make poor decisions when it matters, guys that fumble the ball regularly because they're taking hits, they're asked to do a lot, they try to do too much, and that's what we have with Lamar Jackson. He tries to do too much. And, and in a lot of cases, to be fair, because we have to be fair, let's be non-biased here, he, he's asked to do a lot. He's sort of forced in a lot of ways to make decisions to extend place, to, to, to basically avoid contact. I mean, you you can't put all the blame solely on Lamar Jackson, but as the face of the franchise, as the person who is supposed to be this big superstar that's supposed to lead the Ravens to a Super Bowl, the one that they count on the most to win football games, he's just not that guy at this time. Could he potentially become that guy? Absolutely. He's young. He has tons of improving to do, and he could easily become that guy. They could also, you know, fill... Uh, certain talent around him to really help him out and really capitalize it better. I mean, maybe sew up that uh, that you know front seven for him to kind of get him more time in the pocket, stuff like that. Because I mean, even the last game, he was scrambling a lot. That the touchdown that to uh, Hollywood Brown that made him you know uh, uh, 14 to zero really really had him doing some magic tricks, you know, to really get him to to get to that touchdown. But overall, he just, again, makes such poor decisions. And we saw it with the Raider game. You know, two crucial, crucial fumbles on the Ravens' side of the ball that led to two touchdowns, which essentially ruined, cost them the game, whether you want to admit it or not. Yes, the defense should have shut them down with, you know, whatever, 35 seconds left it was in the game. They should have gotten the stop. They knew that uh, Derek Carr only option was to throw the football we knew that but they didn't do the job and and you know they kicked a 55 yarder and then went in overtime okay we get that but none of that would have happened if Lamar Jackson would have just held the ball if he would have just made sure that he didn't fumble the ball and it's, it comes back to decision making throw the ball away you don't always have to make try to extend a play or try to you know get an extra yard or two you could just throw the ball away. You could just protect the ball. That's the biggest problem. He doesn't protect the ball. Usually when you see him running, he has the ball palmed in one hand and he's running for his life. He's got to protect the ball better. And I'm surprised somebody's not in his ear constantly like, dude, protect the ball. And to further my point, because again, we have to provide facts before we, you know, if we're going to criticize someone, at least that's how I feel. If we're going to be fair, then we have to provide the facts. Well, here are the facts. The facts are that he, besides this game in which he had two turnovers in the last 15 minutes, he has the record for nine straight games with the fumble and has fumbled more than 80% in his total games. He's fumbled like 34 of his 38 starts in the league. The guy is fumble prone. The guy is turnover prone. He constantly doesn't protect the ball. He's a liability. And when you're when you're talking games in which that he it comes down to one play here or two plays there, especially when you're playing elite teams. You know, however you feel about the Raiders, that's up to you. But I'm just talking about in general, because we've seen it in the playoffs. He's he's too one-dimensional, he's not accurate, he doesn't get the ball where he needs to be, he makes poor decisions making, and he's a liability. He turns the ball over just as much as he's making plays. And you can't have that from your franchise player, let alone your star quarterback, that you that you're need to, to extend your, your season, that you want to win games, to win Super Bowls. That's what they're playing for. They got all these pieces, assembled this team, did all this stuff to win Super Bowls. Build a team around Lamar Jackson. And and for whatever reason, these, these running quarterbacks just aren't what aren't what teams need to get to the next level 
I, I don't know what it is. I, I, you know, I'm not any of these running quarterbacks. I'm not in the NFL. I don't know what it is about, you know, the Michael Vicks, the Cam Newtons, the Lamar Jacksons. They can get there. They can get close. You know, we've seen Michael Vick. He got close. Cam Newton has got close. I can see Lamar Jackson with the right team around him get close. But can he get them over the hump? It's one thing to make a Super Bowl. It's one thing to win your division, to win games, to whatever. But to actually win the Super Bowl. I mean, Patrick Mahomes is is an um, amazing talent. But he's he's a throw. He's accurate. He, get, he can move and throw the ball. Lamar has gotten better. Like, to give him credit again... That game against the Raiders, he did a great job of throwing on the move. He he, he he made great plays. You can see he's actively trying to improve. You know, I'm not trying to bash him. It's just you got to be realistic. Like, everybody hypes up Lamar Jackson like he's this, you know, just unbelievable talent. He's he's the type of quarterback that, you know, he, he's great. He's I, I wouldn't, I don't know if I would put him elite. I feel like we throw the word elite around when we're talking professional athletes far too much elites are usually you know top 10 top 15 talents in the league you know is Lamar that he might not even you could probably argue that he might not even be you know top five top seven quarterbacks in the league he might not even be top 10 depending on you know how where you where you put the 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 line as far as other quarterbacks from other franchises I mean he he's a great talent He's great. He's phenomenal. You know, he, he fills seats. He's box office. He he's he's superstar in the sense of like what he can do. He can attract. He'll 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 drive ticket sales. He does everything you want from a franchise cornerstone, except for make smart decisions to win games. But as always, this is a discussion and I want to hear from you. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think that Lamar Jackson is that guy that he can get them over the hump? You know, I'm trying to, you know, I always try to keep it fair and keep it an unbiased perspective. But just from what we've seen since he entered the league, yes, he has made advanced improvements. I'm, I, I don't knock him for that. And I expect him to continue to improve. He's a great young talent. I just don't put him up there with the Patrick Mahomes, the Tom Brady's, the, you know, the, the, the Russell Wilson's of the world. He's not, he's not, Russell Wilson is really the only mobile quarterback to that stature that has ever really won a Super Bowl. That has been, I mean, as far as like that elite can get out of the pocket, can extend plays, can run. You know, I'm not, I'm not, obviously there's plenty of quarterbacks that are mobile, but as far as like one that can win games, and even that, 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 that Seahawks team was all defense. They were, they were one of the best defensive teams arguably ever. And, and, and to have, you know, Lamar Jackson and that supposed elite defense that the Ravens had, that was not elite defense that, that could not stop a guy that you know has to throw the ball 50 plus yards in 35 seconds with no timeouts, with no nothing to stop. You know, I'm not solely blaming Lamar Jackson. I'm just saying that if we're going to, if we're going to put him as the cornerstone, we have to hold him accountable. He's got to do things he's got to make better decisions and until he gets more accurate and makes better decisions and protects the football protects the football he's not going to win a super bowl at least with the ravens if you haven't liked this video be sure to like the video helps me out a lot lets me know you enjoy these types of videos and i truly appreciate it if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button followed by the bell notification so you never miss an upload see you all in the next one thank you